why the wires were hot is the particular phase which has the bent windings the resistance will be very low so it will draw higher current and it will end up heating up the cables that's why you can see that the welcome back to my channel today i'll be showing you a quick one on how to fix error code one on your electric scooter with this type of display tf100 you know with this display they look the same but the model number is what differentiates them so this error one means there's a fault with the motor so i'll be showing you how to diagnose it and probably how to fix it so follow me let me show you how to do it so now this is the inner view of the scooter this where the controller and the wires and the battery everything is connected so now since we are suspecting the motors let's go ahead and test the lines coming from the motor and even without testing with any instrument you can see that the the cable looks like something which has been very hot you can see so this is a sign that there's an issue with the motor so let's disconnect the motor lines fence and and normally if there's an issue with the motor it can affect the con the mosfets in the controller so i'll be testing the mosfets also before testing the motor so let's test the motors first so with the help of this e-bike tester I'll connect the whole lines from the motor first, following by the face lines. So the colors must match each other, yellow to yellow, blue to blue, green to green. Now, so now let me turn it on. You can see that the whole sensor light is on. Let's spin the time. See. So now the whole sensor is okay. And I think the light is coming on for the motor too. So we are good to go. But we still need to open the motor to find out if everything is okay with the core because sometimes the instrument can deceive you a bit. So after testing the motor now, I'll test the controller to, to find out whether some of the MOSFET hasn't been damaged. So with the help of my multimeter. Let's go. Okay, this line is okay. Let's go to the next line. That one is also okay. Let's go to the third one. Also okay. Let's test across faces. Also, okay. So, if you don't know how e bike controller testing works, you can also leave a comment behind. I will create a video for you on how to test the e bike controller. So, let's test it one more time to make sure everything is okay. Now, you can see that even with the yellow connector, it looks bent, which means that the, the connectors have been coming hot whilst it's working that's a sign of a bad motor so let's go ahead and test the across faces let's test against the power again okay yellow against power again okay green against power again so there's no issue with the controller now we need to take the tie off and see whether everything is okay inside so let me just take the tie off and get back so now the motor has been taken off now this is the connector to the motor i have to open it so first i have to remove the brake disc so take off the plate first
this off these are the screws to the main cover so i also have to open that side And please, before you carry out any operation like this, make sure you have the right tools and also you have knowledge about what you are doing or else you end up messing up the whole thing. So please. Now the screws are off, we take off the washers and the nuts. The washers and the nuts are off. They are off. Now, there are two ways to open it because there is neodymium magnet inside. The magnetic force holding the coil is very strong. So you can either use a pulley, something like this to pull the cover off or you can use two flat screwdrivers so let me try the flat screwdrivers first look of things the windings are damaged because this is not the color of how take a closer look you can see this is not uh, the color of how the winding should look like it's bent if you take a closer look it's bent and even when the winding is bent there's some smell which comes out from the winding as soon as you open it you hear the smell you see that it's bent so now i have to take the windings off so the main reason why the wires were hot is the particular face which has the bent windings the resistance will be very low so it will draw higher current and it will end up heating up the cables that's why you can see that the the connectors look bent you can see you see they look bent so you can see that with the blue and green faces their quail has the most issues like i mean their quail is the one which is bent most so the resistance is low on that you can see that with the green ones the green one it looks a bit okay so from the look of things you can see that the quail here especially this quail it doesn't look bent this one doesn't look bent so which means that the issue is with the blue and green faces but when you are doing the rewinding you can't do just that faces and leave them once you are doing the rewinding you should do the whole thing so i'll take these screws off these align bolts i'll take them off and take the whole thing out then push the coil out then i'll be able to access the coil for further troubleshoot so now the motor has been taken out now this is let me try and drive the coil out of the case. So just keep it in shape here. So 
this is the simplest method to use to drive the pellet. Now you can see the hands have cleaved this successfully. Now let's tighten it. Can see the core coming out. So this is one of the safest way to remove the motor because the magnet is very dangerous. So now the motor has been taken off and you can see from this end here especially this portion you can see that the color is a bit different from this side because the coil is bent so the resistance is very low so it will end up taking more current than it's supposed to take so error code 6 is caused by a faulty motor Yours may not necessarily be from the core, it might be from one of the damaged hot sensor because the code is meant for motor. So any issue related to the motor, whether it be loose connectors, damaged hot sensor, anything relating to motor is a rock code 6. So now you can see that with this one, the coil is bent. Yours might be from the hot sensor or from anything. So that's all for today. If you want to see more content like this, please don't forget to subscribe. I have more of this stuff to show you. So please don't forget to subscribe and also click on the notification icon. So anytime I post new videos, you'll be able to see. That's all for today. See you on my next one. Bye. Nice.